Well, I'm here to speak on behalf of Mr. Fitzgerald. Mark is a hell of a guy. And he's done a hell of a job for Loveland. And I'm sorry, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. George Brennan, 1305 Woodlake Court, Loveland, Ohio. <clears throat> like I said, Mark is a hell of a guy. He's done a hell of a job for Loveland. And I'm sorry that some people are having trouble seeing that. You know, I may be the only person in this country with the name George Brennock, but I bet you there's all kinds of people in this country with the name Mark Fitzgerald. Because some people around here have been saying some unpleasant things about Mark that don't even sound like the Mark I know. Mark and I have climbed to the top of the mountain together. 14,500 feet. Mount Whitney, the highest spot in the lower 48 states, up and back in 17 hours. You get to see the real person when you climb a mountain with somebody. I get together with Mark and other people as many as four times a week at 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning to exercise. He's accomplished many extreme endeavors, including running trail ultra, Marathons, marathons on back-to-back -back days, 12-hour endurance races. What I've learned from him through that is that he sure knows how to work hard and to prepare for success. The Mark I know is a good person. He leaves food on my doorstep when my wife is out of town. The Mark I know is the first person, was one of the first people with a note and a card when my dog passed. He's always ready to land a hand or offer a ride, and he's been instrumental in every one of the past 11 Tiger Trots 5K races held at the Intermediate School that I helped organize with the Intermediate School. I've called him, asked him for his help, and never once did he say that he would check his schedule but rather responded with an affirmative. The Mark I know has encouraged people to get active in Loveland politics because he believes it's important. The Mark I know has poured his heart and soul into creating an environment for people and businesses to love Loveland as much as he does. He has worked diligently to make Loveland a vibrant and financially stable community. You only need to look around to see everything that Mark's hard work and leadership has accomplished. Like the Loveland Commerce Park, McCluskey Chevrolet opening a five and a half million dollar new headquarters. Mike's car wash moving their corporate offices in. You know, the corporate center is the largest tax contributor to Loveland. And when it comes to small business, he has supported the opening of Narrow Path Brewery, the Fresh Press Coffee and Juicery in downtown, and has helped Loveland get its own graders. He's helped turn a vacant lot into a plaza with a Chipotle, Starbucks, and sports club. He's helped add 125 parking spaces along the bike trail. Radar controlled stoplights improving traffic flow downtown. Upgrades to city parks, Buckeye Trail designation, and wayfinding signage. In 2012, the then majority of council asked for a 25% tax increase, which failed at the polls. Mark and Angie were against it. Instead, Mark found other better ways to implement revenue strategies that have succeeded in making the city financially stable and have been the recipient of many awards along with a high Moody Bond rating. And Mark has done all of this without the tax increase that the people of Loveland did not want. Mark, I'm extremely proud of everything you've accomplished in Loveland, and I'm even more proud to call you my friend.
Okay, we're good, guys. Here we are. <laughs>